Hi, my name is Lior Goldenberg. I'm a record producer and a mixer. I've made records with um, Rick Rubin, Michael Beinhorn, Lance Morissette, Cheryl Crow, Ziggy Marley, Alan Stone. I like to start a record with a blank slate, not, you know, definitely 57 on snare, definitely this on kick. I like to, to, to kind of listen to what the songs uh, dictate and, uh, and go from there. And, you know, a lot of times it's the stuff, the tried and true stuff, but, but I like to stay open um, to finding new avenues to create the sound that I hear in my head or the artist hears in their head. And uh, that's really how I got, became attached to the Monheim Omni because it, it just gave me another tool that I know exactly what it does, but it interacts with other things really well and that's what I really like about it. When a friend of mine introduced me to the Monheim Omni mics, I was skeptic only because, you know, I have a lot of mics and I have a couple of great Omni mics. So then he sent me the high SPL mics and we put them on drum room and it sounded incredible. I haven't heard Definition Lift in a long time. And I thought that was really cool and it was very musical, really complimentary to the drums. Low end on it is massive, not exaggerated, but just really massive. If you have the mass in the room, the mics will pick it up. And, uh, and the top end is just really, really smooth and sweet and kind of silky. The Omni was just great, always. I, and I could really move it in the space, forward, back, up, down. And it would just create new palettes, sonic palettes, without de degrading the, the main direct dry sound. So, And then we got to acoustics and um, really re reinvented my concept of acoustics. Because usually I use a C12 and a KM84. I set all of them up. I set the C12 up and the KM84 and uh, the Omni, and possibly one more mic just to try things out. I had my assistant put the C12 back in the closet because not that it's not a great mic, but it was instantly, we don't need the that size and that thing. It just, it, it paired so well with the KM84 um, that it would, we just had our guitar sound and that was it. When we got to doing vocals on the Grand Ganza record, um, I knew I wanted in addition to the 67 on the voice, uh, a more, ambient mic slightly further back to give it some depth and size and width. At this point I knew what the Omni was doing, the Monheim Omni was doing, so I, I set it up right away. I didn't need to try a few different ones. If I plugged one ear and I moved around the room and listened to what's a good spot for um, for the ambient mic. And then I picked the spot, listened to the relation between the two, it was right away very close. And then I actually got a step ladder and kind of started moving up and down. Uh, finding the really the perfect spot and um, we found the spot and it was only probably about four feet away from the 67 and originally my thought was to have it just open in the courses to make things bigger and, uh, and wider but the sound was so incredible and I was really attached to it we all were that that we left it on the whole time and I really I can't imagine having to mix this record without the uh, Monheim Omni. I'm Lior Goldenberg thanks for coming to visit my space and uh, Get creative out there.